Hello and welcome to Sega News Bits Breaking News. Uh, so the, what? It's like an announcement of an announcement, yeah. and we're going to speculate. <laughs> so, uh, a Japanese tech journalist who writes for Famitsu Magazine, which is their big gaming magazine over there, has said that there is revolutionary news coming from a beloved gaming company, and he uh, he laid this all out in a YouTube stream. I'm not sure if he's a streamer, if he was just talking about his day. I, I don't have the specifics, but a lot of um, gaming websites picked up on this news early in the morning. And one such website, uh, Gematsu, Gematz, I don't know if they were the first to notice this, but they caught my attention. They have a very in-depth article. And so that was uh, that was our source when we wrote the article ourselves, or myself. It's not like George and I write the same article at the same <laughs> no. time. Um, but uh, he 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 spoke a lot, but said very little. But there are a few interesting things here. So I think the first thing to make note of is that this is a tech journalist. Mm. This is not someone who is focusing on the uh, more business side. This isn't a guy who's focusing on specific software. Um, so with that in mind, before we really get into the meat and potatoes, I don't think this is a specific game, and I don't think this is a big company announcement or company-wide decision, like an acquisition. And I say that because this guy claims to have a huge scoop, and he compares it to when Wired had a PlayStation 5 article in their June 4th, or no, I'm sorry, uh, that's their June 4th issue coming out soon, but the Wired article... Um, was April 2019, and it just really laid out a lot of the uh, tech that is going to be inside the PS5. And that was when they were talking about the AMD chip and 3D audio, yada yada, all this. So if that gives you a sense of what excites this guy, um, that tells you something. For me, when I read those sorts of articles, like the PS5 one, I'm like, oh, that's interesting, and I move on. I never go, man, this is huge. This is revolutionary. I guess if you um, do that for a living, it would be for you. Right. Yeah. Right, and so with that in mind, when he's comparing it to that, it's like, okay, so it's a tech announcement. Is Sega going to be announcing new hardware that's going to blow us away? I don't think so, because he says it's not a Dreamcast 2, so what could it be? Is it new, a new arcade board that's going to blow us away? Is it, um, and, and I guess let's get into the speculation now because really all he said was it's revolutionary, it's going to rile up the games industry, and it is Sega related. That's it. Um, I mean, what, what do you think? The only thing I could have thought of was like maybe Sega is going to start a exclusive contract with a company. I was thinking more like Microsoft, you know, like instead of like, it's not that they're going to be exclusive to the console, but it would be that everything that Sega releases under their their banner will come to Xbox and come to Game Pass. Because I feel like Sega for a long time has been wanting to port all their games to everywhere. And uh, they mm -hmm. kind of want backing from these companies. Like, uh, And I think Microsoft is willing to drop a lot of money right now in, on de new developers. And not only that, but like... Uh, publishers to put their content on Game Pass, you know, even if they have to pay the ports, you know, oh, like they have to, like, oh, Persona 5, well, yeah, we'll pay for the new Royale game as long as it can come to Game Pass right. and we get more uh, subscribers. Uh, maybe Sega has like a deal with them where depending on how many people play the game on Game Pass, they get a cut of a check. How does that work, right? right. I don't know. And I find it interesting because you, you're really stuck on the Microsoft thing, right? Like you, that's kind of what you're leaning towards. I, I don't know why. I just see it happening because the, I feel like the Yakuza games have been really popular on Game Pass and they've just been announcing even Yakuza 7 uh, coming out day one. That's, that's a huge deal. Right. But yeah. Yeah. Um, and in our own Discord, some people have been throwing out their ideas and it, it seems like the idea of a streaming service has been shot down a lot because I've been told that's not revolutionary. And of course it isn't because we've seen things like the Stadia, mm -hmm. we've seen things like Game Pass. So it's, it's nothing new to have a bunch of games that acts like a Netflix service. But I think, so I was thinking, well, what would make it revolutionary if it were a streaming service? And I think what what it if it were a revolutionary streaming service, what would make it blow some 
blow someone away like this guy would be is if it was for every platform. So you got Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, PC, and the idea is that it is every Sega title coming out from here on out will be available on all the platforms. There's going to be a huge back catalog and it is using technology that allows them not to have to port it to all these different um, systems. And so you could easily release something that in the past has been difficult. So it's like, you want Panzer Dragoon Saga? All right, here it is because we're using um, a Saturn uh, emulator that we built in-house and it is streaming so you're not utilizing your hardware to um, do this. So you can use your phone. I mean, that's that's all I can really think, but even then that's not revolutionary. Mm-hmm. I think it's more just an interesting way to present a company's back catalog. And that's why I think the idea of riling up the games industry makes it kind of that sort of direction makes sense because then it would be like, well, wait a minute, we've always worked in buckets. So it's like we have our PlayStation 3 games and then we have to do remasters. But you're telling us that every single Sega game, as long as you're able to emulate or have the original hardware somehow that you can stream it to every device and you're basically paying a flat fee. And maybe with that in mind, the Microsoft Game Pass thing could come into play and they say, well, as part of Game Pass, you get all of the Sega games. Yeah, I mean, you know there's what I a mean? lot like, of interesting windows, especially, but like something that I've noticed with Sega is they're not really keen on like understanding the price or the, I don't know, the value of their IPs they have. I feel like they play themselves down. They're like that uh, chubby right. teenager, right? <laughs> like They're not going to be pulling themselves up. But like, I, I mean, I have no other like thought about it maybe that the arcade i don't think that is going to happen i don't think there's going to be big innovations in arcades going forth especially what's happening right now it's like i don't see that to be that big of an announcement he's calling it an insane scoop he's saying it's really revolutionary and it's going to rile up the games industry and because of that i feel like it's not a it's not beefy hardware, either in arcades or at home, because he said it's not a home console. So that's why I really think it's software-based, and I really think it's it's a new way of looking at rolling out games. As we've seen with Fantasy Star Online 2, as we've seen with Streets of Rage 4, um, it's just like, I have an Xbox One, I don't own any physical games. And I could see Sega maybe thinking, you know what, it's the 60th anniversary, uh, on June 3rd, June 4th, let's let's roll out this huge announcement where you're going to get a massive Sega back catalog in one place. And we're going to be starting with the Xbox One with the launch in Japan, and then it will be available on PlayStation platforms and Switch in the future, and mobile phones. Because they did kill Sega forever. Yeah, they did. So... I feel like they've always been trying to do something like this, whether it be Heritage, Sega Forever, Sega Ages, and it always ends up being just a tiny collection. And I really feel like they're like, we have this massive back catalog, let's do something with it. And again, what you and I are talking about, this is one way to take it. So let's pivot completely away from this. Let's try to think up, each of us, pitch something that's just off the wall insane that it could be. What's your thought? Uh, a new Sega console would be awesome. I mean, it's, it's been a long time. Even if the hardware is like, I don't know. I don't know what it would be like, right? But when he said that it's not the Dreamcast 2, I mean, are we really going to believe that Sega would call the next console Dreamcast 2? And I know it's far like, mm-hmm. I mean, this is just my fanboy dream, right? This isn't like based in reality right. or what's possible in this world. I, I, I would love to see a new console. That would be, I mean, that would really shake things up if you think about it. Right. But I think it, they would hmm. need to have an innovative gimmick like Nintendo has the Switch, you know, where uh, it's a handheld and a console. But they would have to have their own thing going on for it. Yeah, I, I think if I'm going to do a crazy guess, so they're saying it's revolutionary, it's going to rile up the games industry. So we've already seen VR... We've seen, um, uh, you know, ways of immersion. So maybe they finally found a way for um, tactical or sensory um, gameplay for home. And maybe they found a way to roll this out. You know what I mean? Maybe they found a way 
or when you're holding a controller that you actually feel prickly little things on your fingers and you feel warmth and you feel cold. Um, something that the uh, Switch controller kind of does with the little shaking ice cubes thing, but to the point where imagine it gets cold. Um, it maybe doesn't hurt you, you know what I mean? But you definitely feel a sense there. Um, I don't know. I mean, I feel like that would be something revolutionary where we start to really move not just into VR, but into other senses. Um, and maybe they'll start rolling it out with an arcade machine or a home console. Uh, that's crazy. But then again, we're doing crazy ideas right now. Um, and I mean, it's not... Is there anything else you want to say? I mean, say? it's not even only that, but like VR is in its infant state. It could be something related to VR, considering that like some of the setbacks with VR right now is that you have to wear a headset and it's very annoying to a lot of people mm -hmm. and you get sweaty in there and it gets mucky. That's why uh, arcades don't want to have them because you putting that thing on your head, it's like Germ City yeah. right there. Um, so I could see them maybe making a uh, not headset VR. That would be interesting. Like maybe like a pair of glasses you put yeah. on because people wear glasses every day. I'm wearing some right now and I don't think about it. So maybe they found a way to minimize VR into just a pair of glasses you pop on. And maybe they found a way to implement that in current hardware. Like maybe they've teamed with Microsoft for the Japanese Xbox One launch. It'll come with this new technology that Sega's pioneered. That's a, um, that's a far landish idea, but that's what we're doing, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And you know, what we're talking about here is going to be old news in a week. So um, we'll see. I have heard people complain, oh, it's just gonna be like Two Point Hospital. Uh, <laughs> and if you remember, that was um, Sega posting a picture of a light bulb and people freaking out. But I think the difference here is we actually have someone saying that the news is going to be big, unlike Two Point Hospital, where it was really on people on Twitter making thinking Dreamcast 2 was coming because Sega Europe posted a picture of a light bulb. Like, come on, guys. That's on you. That's not on Sega. Agreed. Yeah. So, in the comments below, let us know what you think the crazy, uh, innovative, re revolutionary thing that's going to rile up the games industry is going to be. And um, we'll see if we're right in a week's time. See you guys next time on the next video where we talk about whatever it is. Bye. Yeah. Two Point Hospital 2. Three Point Hospital.